Hello everyone, uh, thanks for the people who subscribed to my channel after watching the Tonka truck video. Uh, today I'm going to show you I'm building a little project, it's a little portable power station in case I lose power during hurricane season, providing my house is still here of course. Um, I got the idea from watching a, a video um, on YouTube, I, I searched around and couldn't find many. I found one, I'll, I'll put the link below, the guy did a great job at wire management and he gave me some ideas on how to build my box. Um, I have this uh, APC Backups XS1500. I've had it for about two years, and about a year ago I had to replace the batteries in it, and then, I don't know, a few months ago it wouldn't even hold charge. Um, like if I had a power interruption, the whole system would shut down even though the batteries have a full charge, so something internal is wrong with the unit. But because I had replaced the batteries recently, I was figuring, you know, what can I use these batteries for? So I'm going to take the batteries out of here, um, harvest what I can off this thing, and then just throw it out. They don't make the stuff the way they used to. I mean, I, I go through, uh, this is my second one of these, actually. Um, I bought it because I have a big power supply for my PC uh, internal, and it draws a lot of juice. Um, and this is actually even plugged into another uh, surge protector, so I have kind of double redundancy, so something internal is wrong with this thing. And So I already bought a new one and replaced it. So. Well, hope you enjoy the video. Got it completed. I'm gonna go outside in just a little bit and charge it up because the batteries are just a little under 12 volt right now. Um, got two cigarette uh, lighter power supplies, and I'll show those in action after I get this thing charged up for a little bit. Uh, remember the thing: measure twice, cut once. Well, I didn't do that over here. I was originally just doing this with two batteries, and then when I threw in the third battery, uh, the post on the switch right here to turn the system on and off, um, wouldn't sit, so I had to move it over, so I have an extra little hole. 
But uh, let's go outside and uh, hook this up to the solar panel and get it charging. Now the panel's putting out about 14 volts right now. Um, I'm going to let this sit out here and charge up for a little bit and then I'll take it back inside. Uh, if you can see that, right now it's trying to fully charge the battery. So what it'll say on top. You can't see that's too bright. It still says 12. Alright, here's a shot. It's just uh, of the solar panel I'm using. It's just a little 10 watt um, solar panel I had left over from some DC attic fans I installed a few years back. Um, so that's what I'm using to power the little portable power box. Uh, let's go inside and I'll show you what's uh, going on. Okay, back inside now. I'll just give you a little tour of the uh, box itself. Um, I have a little marine DC plug on the outside so that I can just plug the solar panel into there. Um, I've got two uh, 12 volt outlets up here. Um, I've got a momentary switch here so at a glance without having to take out my voltmeter I can tell what the power of the batteries are inside. Opening it up, um, I've got a little uh, 10 amp charge controller, got that off eBay. Um, this is the main switch which turns it on or off. Um, don't laugh at my wire management. I know it's much to be desired. Um, I was able to fit in here a little uh, 220 volt inverter in case I needed to power something which didn't have a cigarette lighter plug but was still like uh, low draw. Um, I have fuses for two cigarette lighter plugs and the main power going to the uh, charge controller. Um, I have these run in parallel so I have three batteries and they still total 12 volts rather than series. Um, my theory, and I don't know if I'm right on this theory, but rather than having so I have these batteries jump from here to here to here um, the leads that go to the charge controller I put the positive one on one battery and the negative one on the other one my theory that I'm thinking is I'm thinking of it kind of like water filling up that um, rather than if I did them both here it might stop and just top this battery off and might not hit this back one so if I do it this way I don't know I'm, I'm thinking maybe the electricity because it has to go through here to here will also get the middle one and even itself out um, I'll turn the camera off for a second and um, I'll put this all back together and plug in some items and show you how it works. Okay, one thing I should have said in the very beginning, I'm not an electrician, not a hobbyist, I'm just a tinkerer, so uh, use at your own risk if you're going to copy this. So let's turn it on. Now when I'm charging it up, I do leave the lid open because this does get a little warm when it's charging. Um, so the inputs on here, just if you're curious, the solar panel gets hooked up through this port, battery through this one, and my load is on this one. Um, so let's plug some stuff in. So you got a little blue light. Both of them are started up. Uh, the iPhone's charging. Moto X is charging. Take these, put these off to the side. Got a little uh, Nightcore uh, battery charger. Let's plug that in. So during like a hurricane or a power issue, if I needed to charge up batteries for uh, two-way communication, uh, cell phones, or even flashlights, I have a way of doing that. And um, you know, I think it's kind of a neat little project. Um, I also have this. This is a trickle charger for the batteries. I need to put like little ends that I can sort of cover up so they're not exposed so that if it, I wasn't using the solar panel and just want to plug this into a 110 volt, I can actually charge up the batteries inside of here. So, well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.